this one is 2.3 here we have a weighing machine that is hanging its weight is 1.1 kilo newton so basically this right here is 1.1 kilo newton it is supported by these three springs a b and c the spring constant for a and b is 14 kilo newton per meter this is 14 this one is 14 and c is 16 right here both spring a and b both of them are located at a distance of one meter from the center we need to figure out at what location this c is so that this remains level right so we are looking for this x value as a distance so because of the weight all of these springs will be extended so there's these forces in springs so let's call this ka times delta kb times delta and kc times delta and i am taking delta to be same because we are, we are assuming that this is going to remain level so from the force balance we can see that ka times delta plus kb times delta plus kc times delta need to satisfy 1.1 kilo newton if i substitute the value of ka kb kc here it's going to become 44 kilo newton meter on this side and delta here and 1.1 kilo newton on the other side if i solve for this delta delta comes out to be 25 millimeters now to find out the value of x let's attach a coordinate system here so this one is your x coordinate and this one is your y coordinate now what we will do is about the center here which i'll mark it as o we will find the moment because of these spring forces we will express everything in terms of this x y and if in the plane we have x and y this vertically going up this is your z coordinate there so we'll find the moment about the center point and put that equals to zero so let's mark these angles here so that it's going to be easy for us to do calculations so both of this and this are going to be 30 degrees so now both of these distances this is also one meter here and this one is also one meter so for a moment uh, let's first write down the location of these points so let me write o a first where a is with respect to point at the center so a will be negative minus cos 30 i cap and minus sin 30 j cap similarly your point b straightforward going up so one times j cap and point c here is going to be x cos 30 i cap and minus x sin 30 j cap now the forces here we know force at a which is f a is going to be your k a times delta k cap and similarly other forces also k b delta k cap and f c is also going to be k c delta k cap now we can find the total moment m which is going to be r cross f so meaning your o a vector crossed with f a plus and o b cross f b plus o c cross f c so in this we need only two cross products one is i cross k which will be minus j and the second one is j cross k and that will be i cap okay so now let's do this so first one we are doing is this one with this right here so we are going to get minus cos 30 and since there's a minus sign already there so this becomes plus j cap and then minus sine 30 i cap and this whole thing will be multiplied by this force which is k a times delta that's coming from the first term second term which is your ob so j will cross with k this is going to give you i so this is going to be k b times delta i cap and third term here your i cross k minus j so this is going to give you minus x cos 30 in j cap and then minus x sine 30 which is going to give you i cap there and the force value here is going to be kc times delta so from this we can check your j cap term here and by doing so we can write ka times delta times cos 30 will be equals to x cos 30 times kc delta 
so delta cancels out cos 30 cancels out from here we can find your x is ka divided by kc ka was given as 14 so this is 14 divided by 16 so that gives us x value equals to 0 0.875 meters so one of these springs is going to be slightly closer to the center so if this is a circle we have this is one meter this is one meter and the third one is going to be somewhere here so this is your a this is b and this one is c